It's Florida's most scenic drive, but also one of its most vulnerable. State Road A1A hugs the Atlantic coast for hundreds of miles, and year after year it's battered by hurricanes, nor'easters, and coastal erosion. Now, a massive project is underway to protect it. The Florida Department of Transportation is nearing completion on a $117 million plan to install buried seawalls in Flagler and Volusia counties. And unlike traditional walls, these won't block your view. They're built under the sand dunes, designed to strengthen the coastline while preserving its natural look. Joining us now is Cindy Lane from FDOT to tell us more about this project and why it could be a model for future storm protection. Cindy, you know, Florida is everybody's top vacation destination across the United States. Everybody wants to live in Florida, but they face some of the worst natural disasters that the U.S. has to offer. Talk a little bit more about this project and how you guys are continuing to keep Floridians safe. All right, well, thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. This is a very exciting project. Um, as you mentioned, this portion of A1A is right next to the ocean. So you're literally driving along State Road A1A and it's a beautiful view, but having it so close to the waves puts it in a vulnerable position and makes it more susceptible to erosion, especially during the big storms. If I wasn't going to be a meteorologist, I really wanted to do city planning. That was one thing I, I thought about when I was looking at careers. And this is such a unique project, really stuck out to me. And the whole concept of a buried seawall, how does that help protect the roadway during major storms? And how not only has A1A done this, but have we seen other types of buried seawalls across other highways across Florida? Well, what happened in this situation is that, you know, we've been facing years and years of damage from hurricanes. And uh, actually in 2022, after hurricanes Ian and Nicole uh, caused some significant damage on this stretch, we partnered, the Florida Department of Transportation partnered with our local communities to create a, what we called a strike team to come up with long-term solutions for this area. So we brought in coastal engineers. We looked at a lot of different options. We got a lot of input from our community and we found that this was the best option for us in our community. And really, you know, this beach is so beautiful. Uh, when you think of a seawall, you sometimes think of, you know, a large exposed concrete or steel structure. And we didn't want that for our community. So um, the the so-called secant wall, that's what we call it, the secant wall, um, because of the way it's designed, it goes down and we, we drill large piles down into the sand. Um, they're in varying in depth between 18 and 36 feet and they go in a row and then we put a concrete cap over them and then we're able to reconstruct the dune on top and leave enough sand so that we can put in beautiful native plantings, sea oats and, um, you know, dune sunflowers and all kinds of different plants that you would normally see at the beach so that they're, they're covered. But underneath that wall is protecting the highway. Such a fantastic concept. Really cool to hear all the engineering that goes behind it really quickly. Once it's finished, I mean, the big question becomes, how do we continue to make sure that it's reinforced maintenance issues? Because while, yes, we have better infrastructure, Florida, we're not going to be missing out on hurricanes. It's something that we have to face each and every year. Well, we do have some history in this. We installed a secant wall, a buried seawall, a little bit north of these two projects about nine years ago and it has held up really well through all of the storms. When the storm comes in, it can expose the wall, so some of the sand in front of it washes away, but it protects the highway, it protects A1A, uh, and then what we do is we just come back in and we put more sand in and we reconstruct the dune again so that you don't see it again. So uh, we do have high confidence that this is going to be very successful in this area. Uh, we studied a, a fairly large corridor. We picked two different sections. They're each 1.3 miles. Uh, the, the wall that is in the northernmost area, which is in Flagler Beach in Flagler County, and extends into unincorporated Volusia County, that wall is structurally complete. So all of the piles have been installed, the cap's been installed, and the sand has been placed over it. Uh, it has a lot of beautiful vegetation already. 
We are not able to finish it just yet because there is a turtle nest in the southernmost area. And so we do need to pause work during the uh, nesting season to make sure that that turtle nest can hatch. Um, but we do expect to finish it up, you know, by the end of the summer. And then the other wall that's just a little to the south of that, it's 1.3 miles as well. And that's completely in Volusia County in a community called Ormond by the Sea. And that wall is about 85% complete with the piles and the caps about half done. And we expect to finish the construction on that, uh, the piles by midsummer and the whole thing by fall, and then we'll put in, you know, the dunes and the vegetation by the end of this year. Such amazing work that you guys are doing out across the Sunshine State. Cindy Lane, thanks so much for joining us and telling us about your project. All right, thank you very much.